it is unthinkable to have any village, city and colony without streets. Today, the long and wide roads have assumed importance while the streets have snuggled in some nook or cranny of village and city. But I would like to take you to a city where streets are accorded great importance. Even tourists come in from remotest parts of the world to see these streets. So join me now as I take you to the city of Jaisalmer in Rajasthan. Situated in the golden city of Jaisalmer, the sonar fort is unique in itself. It glitters like gold with the first ray of the sun. Not just a fort, every building and wall here requires a golden look as the first ray of the sun descends here. Amid all these are the narrow, beautiful and clean streets. Unlike the streets of other cities, the streets here are not shy and scared because their beauty is worth beholding though they are narrow and small in form. Now, let me take you a bit further. Look at the beautiful and impressive buildings on both sides. I would ask the cameraman to show you the details. Yeah, this is right. Let us see it from a reverse angle. Yes, perfectly okay. This is exactly what I was asking you to do. How amazingly beautiful are these buildings of the houses. Thank you, my dear cameraman. I would like to tell you the story behind these beautiful windows and lattices that we see in these narrow lanes. The kings of Jaisalmer always respected architecture and knew that the skillful hands of these minute and intricate carvings would move to other places if they didn't get work here. He found a way out. He asked the inhabitants of Jaisalmer to impart an artistic look to their lattices and windows and provided them relaxation in taxes imposed by the princely state. This decision on the part of the king led to the decoration of these buildings with minute and beautiful carvings while the skilled workmen got jobs also. Evidently, the kings of Jaisalmer protected the architecture embedded with minute engravings on lattices and windows. These houses belong to the people over here. Nevertheless, you can see these majestic buildings as the examples of the outstanding architecture. In fact, we will be doing justice to the masons of Jaisalmer by calling them artists rather than workmen. They use their chisel and hammer with such skill and dexterity that right in front of our eyes, a beautiful and captivating form emerges within no time. No one can make these carvings by chiseling these sandy stones. But the artists of Jaisalmer have acquired great expertise in this art. Let me return to these streets. You must be feeling how difficult the movement of people will be in these streets. Well, let me tell you that the people here are accustomed to moving around and living in these streets. They have developed practice of it. They live here joyfully and with enthusiasm. Even the tourists enjoy these streets. These are the streets of Sonar Fort. You can see the decorated markets here. Let me take you a bit further and show you the decorated shops also. And this street turns right a bit further. A series of shops is continuing here also. Jaisalmer is a city of havelis with beautiful engravings. Never miss these artistic havelis with minute engravings when you happen to visit Jaisalmer.
the route to most of the Havelis passes through these streets. You must be thinking why these are so narrow with little space. Even I was thinking precisely on these lines. I have got the answer. Would you like to hear? As a matter of fact, Jaisalmer is a hot area. Scorching heat grips this area during April, May and June. The rays of the sun do not fall straight onto these streets as they are situated amid the high buildings and havelis. Therefore, these streets are less hot and the atmosphere is pleasant. The winters, however, are severe and nerve-rattling. The westerlies also make the winters more chilling. These streets, covered on both sides by high buildings and havelis, protect the people from severe cold and provide relief to them. By the way, let me tell you that the residents of this area love to pass through these narrow streets instead of wide open roads during severe winter or hot summer as they become the lifeline of the people during such time.